I'm sorry if like you, you're my cat. Um, Soup is here. If you want to see video footage of Soup being adorable, I will put that in the end of this video, so stick around. So I'm going to be talking about my experience with getting tattooed at a comic book convention. But I really wasn't planning on getting a tattoo this weekend. Um, I'm very bad at planning ahead. I looked at the website only to see the guests that were going to be there. If there was somebody I wanted to get an autograph with, if there was somebody that I wanted to meet, if there was somebody I wanted to get a photo with, whatever. And there wasn't. So that was the extent of my <laughs> my looking into this convention. Um, usually conventions, they have like a printed out, you know, schedule. This convention did not. They had a little QR code that you scan. I'm like 80, 90% sure my phone doesn't know what a fucking QR code is. So I was like, well, that's out the window. So I spent most of my convention just walking around the floor, seeing the sights, whatever. And it was on Friday that I first went to the convention and I saw that there were tattoo artists there. And I was excited. I was like, yo, I already want to get a tattoo this month. I have the funds ready. I'm ready to get this tattoo. But on Friday I was wearing all white because I was on a frost. And I was like, you know what? It'd be kind of really stupid for me to get a tattoo while wearing all white. That's stupid. So I go up, I'm like talking to them. They're all really, they're all so nice. They're all making jokes. Um, uh, so I decide I'm getting a tattoo here. You know, these guys seem all right. They've got, they've got like little plaques that, from like the health department. Like, oh yeah, they can do tattoos, whatever, in the state of Pennsylvania or the city of Philadelphia, whatever. So I'm like, okay. So I go on Friday, no, I go on Saturday. I forgot my days for a second there. I go on Saturday, and I'm wearing all black, so I'm like, okay, yes, I'm ready, let's get this tattoo. Um, the only problem is I didn't realize that the show ends at seven. I thought it was later on Saturday for some reason. So I go up to their booth, and I'm like, hey, can I get a tattoo done? And they're like, yo, this shit closes in an hour. There's no way we're gonna be able to do this tattoo for you. Um, originally I was going to just get like a flash, like something on my arm, whatever. But then I went home, I decided I wanted to do something more in depth, something more detailed. And I've always wanted to do the Black Widow quote, um, wolves and girls both have sharp teeth. And that's from In the Name of the Rose, which is my favorite Black Widow kind of series run solo title, whatever. Um, so I used that quote, I incorporated a bunch of like imagery like roses, I have like the black rose spider that I wanted to be in there, a gun. <laughs> you guys, like I sketched it out and it looks so bad, literally my gun looked like a banana, so I don't even know how this artist was able to make such beautiful work out of my garbage sketch. But he did, and he did a really good job, and he was like such a nice man. This portion I'm just going to talk about, like the logistics of the tattoo. Um, he sent me the sketch overnight, Saturday into Sunday, and it looked great. So I go in on Sunday. I had all my breakfast. He was like really awesome. He's like, bring in a pillow, bring in a you know a blanket. So I did those things. So I got it on my hip. It from 11:30 a.m. It took until three or three o'clock p.m. I keep saying that three or three o'clock, three or three thirty p.m for this tattoo to from start to finish and yeah I was laying there on that table for four hours with just like my I was wearing a skirt and bikini bottoms I had like my skirt pulled up my bikini bottom kind of pulled up so like my booty ass was out at this convention and I didn't really go like that was my choice I knew I wanted to get it done there I knew what that entailed I didn't give a Kind of where I'm going to talk about the actual experience of it. <laughs> so 
I usually get, I've never gotten a tattoo at any any type of convention before. I usually get them done at my shops. So at a convention, it's really different. Obviously, I was, it was like the booth with all of their artwork and stuff. And then there was me with my ass out getting tattooed, like right behind the booth. Everybody could see, which was, I'm going to go from like good to like, eh, to like, oh, that was bad in terms of experiences. So the good, there were people that would come by and they would be like, you're doing great, you're doing awesome, good job, keep at it, keep going. And I was like, thank you, thank you so much. This hurts like a <laughs> You guys are awesome. Um, I never really felt, I mean, obviously everybody's different. This is just for me, like, I know if I was in the more painful part of my tattooing that he did, if somebody came up to me and was like, it's fine, don't worry. Get through it. I would be fucking pissed. I'd be like, get the f away from me. I'm in, f I'm in so much pain right now. I want to like tear off my own leg. So get the f out of here. Um, but no, it was more like when I was doing my line work that people were doing this. So I was like, f like you guys are great. Thank you so much. Um, I actually had one of my mutuals on Instagram who saw from my story that I was getting tattooed. So she came over to um, say hello, see you know how I was doing everything. She was so sweet. Oh my god. I like texted her like in between. I was like, uh, like in between the line work and the coloring. I was like, oh my god, it hurts so bad. And she was like, just focus on the end product. It's gonna be great. It's gonna look awesome when it's healed. And I'm like, you're right. It is gonna look awesome. I can do this. So just like the emotional, moral support was great. I had some conversations with people that were coming by who were like, I don't know if I want to get tattooed, does it hurt? And I'm like, yo girl, it hurts, but it depends on where you get it, how bad it hurts, um, but you should do it, especially if you're getting something like really little. Yeah, and like people would tell me their tattoo ideas, they were like, yeah, I want to get something here, like, you know, talk about it, or like, I want to get something in my neck, talk about it. And I was like, yeah, so to do it, you look so great, it's going to be awesome. And I've never gotten a tattoo that took four hours before I needed that distraction. For real, like, I really appreciate everybody who came up and like was so sweet, so kind, making them, you know, a little conversation, um, having a little laugh, like, I know this one lady. Um, she was talking to somebody that she was with, and she was saying like, oh yeah, the hip hurts like the worst, blah, 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 blah. And I was like looking at him, and I was like, mm -hmm, hip does hurt real fucking bad. And <laughs> she was like, yo, she's nodding, like she knows. And I'm like, oh yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm living it right now. I like the parts of it was just like, there was so many kids there, I forgot that Sunday is kind of like family day. That's kind of the day where they have like the children's cosplay competition. And there's just a lot of families there with their kids. And for the most part, parents either weren't bringing their kids around because it was in the back part of the convention. It wasn't like it was smack dab in the middle. So it was kind of like parents knew to like kind of avoid this area because it was just people getting tattooed. Parents who, when they would walk by that area with their kids, were very good about like, you know, ushering their kids along, like, let's go, move it along. Like this is <laughs> getting a tattoo on her ass, get move along, Junior. Um, and then there were some parents that like were not as like diligent about that, which like I don't really care. Most of the kids just wanted to look at the artwork. Most kids were not even looking at me. Like definitely some parents were kind of treating it like <laughs> as a sideshow almost. I'm like the fucking tattooed lady at the freak show right now. I definitely had little kids gawking at me and I don't blame these kids because it's like, you know, you see like they, they've never seen this before. They don't know what the is going on. Uh, why is this lady, you know, got her whole ass out? Why does she look like she wants to kill somebody? Like, you know, they're just like curious. They don't know what the hell is going on. Some parents definitely treated it like a learning opportunity. I know, I guess my mom was tattooed. She was telling her son like, oh, remember how I told you these were stickers on my body? That's actually what it is. That's what happens. And I was like, okay, Miss Frizzle, thank you, but can you move your school bus along? Like, and I'm gonna move along from that into like, I, okay, I wanna preface this by saying that I am a cosplayer, I go to conventions a lot, I am dressed in all types of ways. Like, I get so many people, like, who say weird to me, who, <laughs> 
who just like act so like I don't even know what is going on in their brain sometimes like I get all types of people it takes so much to make me uncomfortable I'm so used to people like gawking at me um, I'm so used to people looking at me judgmentally so like it takes a lot for me to be like oh yikes um, but I definitely did feel a little yikes at points with people um, I didn't feel like unsafe or anything we were across the way from like another booth I think he might have been a part of that other booth which is why he was kind of milling around but he was definitely like you know staring at me and I got a lot of stares <laughs> in the four hours that I was laid out there and that's to be expected like I said public place I know I wasn't naive about it I knew people were gonna stare at me there's a pub there's a polite amount of time you can stare at somebody and then there's the amount of time that this guy was staring at me and I was like oh my god please like I, I, if you work at that booth across the way, fine. Can you busy yourself like doing something so that you're not just staring at me with my ass out? Like, please, sir, please. And that wasn't even that bad. What really kind of like irked me was that not just like one or two people, but like multiple people took photos of me while I was getting tattooed and like I said I'm a cosplayer literally I am so used to people taking pictures of me and if you ask me if you come up to me and you say hey can I take a picture of you I don't give a like yes take a picture of me I'll pose for you whatever I don't care like I got dressed up I appreciate that somebody saw me you know what I put together and they like enjoyed it enough that they want to take a picture of it as long as you ask me first and like nobody asked me <laughs> nobody was like hey can I take a picture of you and it's like I am over here with like my ass out <laughs> I would appreciate somebody asking me first before they just kind of snap off a photo of that and put it like god knows where i don't know i just felt like it was just disrespectful i felt like i was too exposed i definitely would have been like if they asked me i would have been like can you wait until he has to like have me on my back because that's fine that's fine i don't care there's nothing really showing that I, you wouldn't see if i was at the beach i don't really care but like i definitely was in more like i don't want to be like more sexualized but if somebody was like looking at that, it would be more like of a sexy pose, even though it's just me getting my tattoo done and my artist doing his job. I could see people like sexualizing that and making it weird, you know what I mean? Just to take a photo, to take multiple photos because these people weren't just like, you know, like really sneaky with like their phone camera, like, huh? Um, no, they were like, they had their big like Nikon, Canon, whatever, and they were like, you know, with their little zoom. This is, you know, kind of personal. I'm, like I said, I've already said my piece on this on the show. So that honestly was the only bad part. And honestly, overall, one of my best tattoo experiences, the most painful tattoo that I've ever gotten. Um, what else can I say about it? My artist was fantastic. He was great, honest to God. Like, guy had like a heart of gold. He was so sweet. Um, everybody was so nice at the booth. You know, when I was done, they all like congratulated me on sitting for that long, for that kind of, of tattoo, for, you know, all of that. And I was like, yo, like, thank you. Like, it really means a lot. Um, I'm gonna leave my artist's information in the in the little description. Um, if you want to go check out his other work, I think he is based in Florida, but he does this. I don't know. I'll leave all the information down below. Soup's asleep, so I'm gonna bother her and get some footage for the end of this video. so much more chill now, huh? No, baby.